I greet you wherever you're watching this video. You're welcome to Daily Watch with John, where we release daily devotional videos that can help you grow in your Christian life. And for some days, we have been looking into teachings regarding your personal altar. And today, we are rounding up that topic and then shifting to another topic. So today is the concluding part on building your personal altar. If this is your first time here on this channel, I welcome you to my YouTube channel. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, like this video, share this video with friends, and comment at the comment section of this video. And if you are a returning subscriber, I thank you for subscribing to my YouTube channel. And don't forget to click the notification button to always get notified every day as I post daily devotional video. And today we'll be looking into a topic that is crucial again to our Christian life. And that is hope in necessity in your Christian journey. Hope as a necessity in your Christian journey. We read today from the book of Jeremiah chapter 29 verse 11. The word of God says, For I know the plans that I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans for welfare and not for evil, to give you a future and a hope. Shall we bow down our heads to pray? Heavenly Father, we thank you again this morning. This is another wonderful time. We bless you for this blessed day. Thank you for the word that you are going to release to us this morning. We appreciate you, Lord. Accept thanks and praises in Jesus' name. As we go in your word, we pray that you minister your word to us, that you open our ears, open our heart, open us completely to your word, and let your word bless us and make us alive today. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Amen. So many times people have been living their life, believing they have hope. You know, what you can see, what you can foresee, what you can touch is not hope. Hope is believing in what God has said to you in your personal altar and gradually walking towards the fulfillment. Some of us will receive revelations that are so personal to us. God must have spoken to some people in their dreams, some people in uh, through visions, some people through uh, the knowledge, the, 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 the spirit of knowledge or the word of knowledge, some people through direct speech in their hearing you know different ways by which god has spoken to people but how do we take the word of god so serious how do we hold on to the testimonies how do we hold on to the promises of the father god has given us these promises to make us better in a christian journey and when these promises and you getting yourself swayed away from the promises of god then that means something is wrong with your heart your altar is where you receive the promises. It's the place where you receive words of hope from the Lord. And you hold on to the red man established in the Logos. And you begin to live your life day in day out according to what you have received. When there is no revelation to guide you, it is easier for a man to miss the mark. But you know, the Lord has his plans for you. But why can't you go to your secret place and ask God for it? It's plans for your life many people begin to draw plans for themselves this is what i want to become this is what i'll be this is what i'll do next year this is what i'll do this year but have you taken your time to take yourself back to god and ask him what is his plans for your life and you know when the father speaks of his plans for you it is now for you to hope in the promises and the plans of God. His plans for you, they are for good and not for evil, to give you an expected end. You know what? It's not your own expected end, but the expectation that the Lord has gotten. You know, when the Lord saw that tree, that fig tree, it was expecting fruit from it, but it could not get any. What happened to it? It was cursed. So, you know, when there is an expectation of the Lord regarding your life and when everything you are doing is not in alignment with what God is expecting, that is missing the divine plan. In the book of Romans chapter 15 verse 13, the word of God says, May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing so that by the power of the Holy Spirit you may abound in hope. It is not easy sometimes 
to live according to the hope of what you have not seen you know when the lord told noah to build the ark it was something that he had never seen before he had never had anything regarding rain he had never gotten the image of how the ark would look like but he hoped in what god had spoken and he lived according to that hope and according to the hope he was able to build an ark and save his entire household you know when you live in hope you save yourself from impending danger and also you save your family members from that dangers as well not only your family member but for, for as many as the people that believe in what god has spoken to you those things that you open is not for you alone from your hope you begin to become an example for others romans chapter 12 verse 12 rejoice in hope be patient in tribulation be constant in prayer so you know when you have your life patterned in hope you will be constant in prayer relevant and also enduring when there are tribulations you know the bible says in romans chapter 5 verse 5 that hope maketh not ashamed yeah because the love of god has been shed abroad in our heart by the holy spirit that has been given to us you know the spirit of god works inside of you in the midst of those tribulations that is working experiences for you and god is expecting you to keep on hoping towards the finish line god is so much concerned regarding the end of everything the end of your life the end of your journey the end of your ministry the end of your business the end of the assignment he has given unto you god is looking towards the end so what will happen at the end of it are you going to have the expected end or an erroneous end when everything you're doing is out of the hope that god has actually given you will not be able to get the desired results in the book of Isaiah chapter 40 verse 31 but they will wait for the Lord shall renew their strength they shall mount up with wings like eagles they shall run and not be weary they shall walk and not faint so you know when you're walking according to that kind of hope you begin to renew your strength by constantly trusting God by holding on to the Lord always because it is true aim that all the things that you desire consist and you know when you hold on to him and the hope of his promises and not allowing tribulations and issues to draw you out of him you will always get comforted even in the midst of your trials romans chapter 8 verse 24 to 25 for in this hope we were saved now hope that is seen is not hope for who hopes for what he sees but if we hope for what we do not see we wait for it with patience you know patience is essential so when as you are moving in hope today be patiently waiting on what you are hoping for do not look into something that resembles that hope do not look for something that resembles that promises those promises that god has given to you it is peculiar it is unique and nothing can replace it it is only when you allow it to remain as it is then everything will fall into places in due time and lastly, 1 Peter chapter 1, verse 3. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to his great mercy. He has caused us to be born again to a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead. We will have that hope inside of you. And I'm beginning to put it into place. Say to the devil, I refuse to give up. I refuse to give up on God. I refuse to give up on him. And as you make that declaration today, may the Lord listen to you. And grant you the desire to remain in hope and make the fire on, on your altar to keep burning and to keep trusting him even in adverse situations. Shall we bless God this morning? Appreciate him again. This is another wonderful time. For this word of hope that he has released unto us this morning. Appreciate him. Say, Daddy, I thank you for this. Thank you because I am refreshed in my spirit. I am refreshed in my inner man. Thank you. I thank you, Lord, because of the word of hope that you have sent. And today I declare in the name of Jesus that I live my life daily in hope. I do not frustrate the hope of God. I do not, I do not misuse that opportunity. I begin to hold on to the promises. I hope in the fulfillment on the promises. Satan will not take me away. Doubt will not take me away. Anxiety and fear will not take me away. Despair will not be an element to take me away from where God is expecting me to be. In Jesus' name we are praying. Amen. Thank you very much for 
this video and i want you to sh please share this video to your friends and again i beg you please subscribe to my youtube channel thank you very much and have a wonderful day